we're live. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. Hey, Pat. Hey, T. Thanks for waiting. Um, we're kicking off Blackest of Epithon. It's finally here. Uh, I kind of can't believe it, but it's October. <laughs> it's getting cold. It's spooky season. And so we're starting off the Blackest of Epithon with a fun trivia night. I think it's night for Noria. It's not night for me. I think it's early morning for you, MRA. <laughs> um but i don't know what else you call it a trivia event so it's a trivia night um yes <laughs> so does everyone want to do a quick round of introductions and then we can get into the church i guess i should start black is. so black is f -thon. we are readathon dedicated to reading science fiction fantasy and horror by black authors we're running from today is the first day to october 15th and we are teaming up with the wonderful um dang we lost Noria. hopefully she comes back but we're teaming up with um black Lunathon for today's event so black Lunathon is represented by emma ram powered and deidre of shade tree reads do you guys want to give yourself some quick intros while we're waiting for Nora's internet to act right sure emma i'm back sorry <laughs> you're good Noria. <laughs> oh no, the internet issues. Goodness. <laughs> um, but hi, I'm Emory Empowered. Mm. I'm a co-host of Black Aweenathon, and I'm very excited, a little nervous for trivia night. Um, but <laughs> yeah, happy to be here. <laughs> I'm also nervous, but my name is Cedra. Uh my channel is Shade Tree Reads. I'm nervous because I've been through trivia with Chloe before, and she can be brutal. If y'all haven't seen it, watch the replay. Anyways, so I uh, I read a little bit of everything, and I'm especially excited for Black SF in general. So happy to be here. Okay, hi everybody. I'm Noria. Uh, let me do a quick introduction before my internet breaks out because like. That internet is shaming me. My mother will be like, the shame. Um, but hi, I'm Noria, Chronicles of Noria. Um, I'm really excited about the trivia, but also terrified because, ah, like my brain likes to be all like, I know this, I know this. But once it's trivia, my brain is like, we don't know this. So it's, <laughs> it's always an experience, but I'm really excited about this. And yes, I like to read fantasy, although I am currently in the middle of a reading slump. So I think I've only read like four books this year. So here's hoping 2023 is better. Nice. So uh, I'm Chloe. I am, yep, I run this little channel. I read sci fi and fantasy by Black authors. And yeah, I mean, I was kind of putting people through with that inheritance trilogy read along, Hangman, but I've turned over a new leaf. I'm going to be a much nicer co-host today. So, you know, pinky promise. I'll be on my best behavior. <laughs> okay. Y'all heard it. She said it. So. <laughs> so in terms of the trivia, I had like a little Google slide thing go set up and the plan is just kind of to go through a question by question, we bring up a question. You think about it for a few minutes, see if there's answers from the participants, from the audience. And um, I will show the answer like after the time is up. And don't forget that, um, right. Uh, I put this in the comments, but um, you know, subscribe to everyone's channels. And also like we're running the giveaway for Black SF Epithon. So if you leave like, either your Twitter, your IG, your email in the real time chat comments, just so we can like reach out to you. If you win, um, you know, you have a chance to win a copy of the bro of the fifth season by NK Jemison. And unfortunately we can only ship within the U S so you would need a U.S. mailing address for that. So that is that. Um, <laughs> two more is nicer, easier than hangman. I tried to lighten up the questions. I, I went through a few rounds of edits trying to get these um not to be horrendous, but I tried, okay? I just tried my best. That's all I can say. So let's get this trivia uh, show on the road. So we 
Got our good old opening slide. And our first question is, who is the protagonist of Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifueco? I see Deidre has a hand up. You want to tell us, Deidre? I believe it's Tarasai. Don't ask me to spell it. I kind of want to ask you to spell it now. Damn it, why? I opened my big <laughs> mouth. I opened my big mouth. Should have said I anything. I can try it. <laughs> I can try it, but can that be bonus? Yeah, sure, bonus. Okay, Tari side. T A R. I think I've already fucked up. I think it's like Tor. It's like a T A U R I S I. Is that your right. final answer? Yeah. Mm hmm. No bonus for you, but you got the first one. Oh! <laughs> it is, in fact, Tari Sai. All right. And people, feel free to guess in the comments. Um, it's kind of scouts honor that people aren't looking in the comments for help. But um, if things get a little slow, we'll go to the comments to see what people are guessing. So question number two. Name the prenatal condition caused by taking brain enhancers in Parable of the Sower. Um, prenatal just means that like before you were born, it's kind of like a thing caused by, um, I guess, whoever like, the mother was or whoever was bearing the child was doing at the time. I haven't read that one yet. I can guess, but like, I haven't read that one yet. I haven't read it either, but I feel like I was watching a live show where someone was talking about it and you're going to say it and I'm going to be like, uh -uh. I knew that. That's somewhere in the memory bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently the busy bees had a reading thing of it. I haven't read it yet. You haven't? What? Oh, I was just looking at the comments. Apparently there's a book club. No, the busy bees that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I don't think we have any guesses. T says new to SFF, so just she's just here to support. So the disappointments. Answer is hyper empathy. <laughs> Ooh. Is that ring a bell for anyone who's read the book? Oh. Okay. That's Did cool, anybody though. get it in the comments? No. I didn't see it any in the comments. Uh. So hyper empathy was the thing that I'm actually horrible with protagonist name, so I can't remember. Lauren Olmina. Lauren Olmina had, where basically if she looked at people in pain, she felt like she was experiencing the pain. Or if she saw someone feeling that happy, just... she kind of felt it too. And mm, I forget what the painful. drug was that they were taking mm. that caused it. It was like something to help with studying. And oh. that's how she was born with this condition. Went too far. Damn. Well, I could see the connection, like knowledge and then knowledge of other people's pain even though i don't want to know about it and there you have it alpha empathy uh i would not want that though pass no <laughs> it's like a pretty big liability in the books yeah next question name the author who created the fantasy subgenre sword and soul this is a play on the popular subgenre sword and sorcery I'll give people hints for this one because this isn't super big. I th think this was in like the 80s. And this author also wrote this um, fantasy epic called Emero. Like, did you say emerald? Like the jewel? Uh, Emero. I-M-A-R-O. The color? No, not a jewel or a color. It's like the name of, I think, the land. Oh. I haven't read the series yet. I feel like I, huh. I've i heard somebody talk about this, but I don't remember who it was. Sword and Soul. Does anyone of the panelists have a guess? Okay. I'm going to guess Milton Davis, but that, I'm just bringing that out of the the mm -hmm. blackest if ether. Mm -hmm. Nora, you have any guesses? 
Mm. Well, <laughs> I don't know because Imago sounds like Imago and I can't get Imago out of my head. And I, look, and I know that's Octavia E. Butler, but I don't think Octavia wrote anything with sword and soul and she didn't really like, right, like, nah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Missy Shaw, like, I know it's not Missy Shaw, but let me just start that out there, Missy Shaw. Mm. So we had a correct guess in the comments. It was Charles Saunders. Wow. Who's you? Hell? Yep, Charles Saunders. Um, Milton Davis, I thought, did a Sword and Soul anthology recently that he had edited. So I could he see did. Like, Yeah. Yeah. It was Charles Saunders. Next question. Which literary magazine hosts the Ignite Awards dedicated to recognizing feats in <laughs> Oh, 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 I know that one. Yeah, Deidre. This fire magazine. Sure is. Oh, uh, I completely man. did not add this question because I was nominated for an award. Oh, but you had to. You had to. I had to. Just, just another reason to bring it up. I love that magazine, man. I'm falling behind. I saw like I such a these covers. DJ is like, I'm <laughs> listen, I'm nervous. So I'm like, oh, let me get in before I embarrass myself a little later. Yeah, I'm going to remember the beginning. For one quick second and I'll be back. <laughs> okay. No, but um, okay. Fire Magazine, I don't know if their subscriptions have gone up, but it used to be like 18 bucks for a year subscription. That's and not bad. Mm. I didn't think that was bad either. Um, I I actually renewed my subscription from last year, but I haven't read any of the issues yet. I like to save them up. And I like all the covers usually. But yeah, if y'all, um, if you like digital magazines, Faya is one that I would suggest that you pick up because they usually have short stories, poems, essays, mm. Mm. there's artwork in there. And then the, the awards are really cool too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the awards. It's like really amazing. I don't know why I've always thought that like their magazines were physical copies. I don't know if they have a printed copy, but I've never right? seen a printed copy. But I, I had the. They used to have it where you would have to go download it, but now it's just emailed to you, whichever oh, mm. whichever format you decide. So I'm not mm -hmm. sure if the I don't, I would imagine the subscription has gone up a little bit, but even if it was twenty dollars a year, that's not bad. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, I don't think there are physical copies, unfortunately. But yeah, I was those covers are so pretty. I wanted, I would love to have physical copies just so I could have <laughs> the covers. <laughs> they do sell um, posters though of a lot of the covers on their. Oh, store. nice. Yeah, so you can get posters, oh, or nice. cards, or like merch of the covers. Yeah. So that's still a possibility. That's very okay. nice. That's cool. I was running because my um, finalist, I didn't win, but I got a little uh, medal. Oh. Wow! Oh, I love that! Yay! I want to show what the art was supposed to look like. It doesn't show up great on the screen, but mm. this is what the oh oh cool. that's so cool. That's really pretty. That is yeah, cool. I was really excited to get it, so I just wanted to brag about it a little bit more. Heck yeah! <laughs> yes, <laughs> brag <laughs> all day. <laughs> Talk to the nice. <laughs> so it looks like Deidre's the one to beat in trivia so far. She's going no, to listen, to stop. Don't, don't, don't say that. Like, it's I way know. too early for that. It's She's on like fire. <laughs> fire. Oh, way too early. <laughs> Next. Like, literal. What? Uh, name this young adult science fiction by Justin A. Reynolds about a medical procedure that can temporarily oh, reanimate shit. the dead. Gloria, you have an answer? I know this. Ah, I know this. Why is my brain? Um, ah, ah. Opposites of always? No, that's no, why that offer, but it's not that dead. one. That's, that's the timely ah, one. No, that's going back in time. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh shit! You have an answer, I, I, I think so. Is this the author of the Taking of Jake Livingstein? No, no, that's some, that's someone else. No, no, that no, is no. Ryan A. Douglas. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, it is. My bad, my yes. bad. Oh, Justin A. Reynolds. Oh sh. You're gonna call the name, and I'm going to be so pissed. You have a guess, Deidre? No, I haven't read anything by him. 
Any guesses in the comments? I don't know. Justin wrote a book about that. <laughs> Monty. <laughs> I can see it. Oh, I didn't know that's what that was about. Early departures. Nah. I like that like, cover. I didn't even have early in, in my thoughts, so I would never have gotten this. You were so that close. Cool like, in my defense, I never read the synopsis. <laughs> I never read synopses of books. I like to hear other people like their own personal summary because I've been bitten too many times by the comps mm. being wrong or mm. they throw the word like buzzwords in there just to get people interested and it has nothing to do with the actual book. So I didn't know what that one was about, but Tell I've seen that it. cover. <laughs> that actually happened to me with my very first DNF ever of my life because I never DNF books. I would sit through and I would power through, but there's this book what's the name plain bad heroines don't have a waste of time oh my god it's it was written by the same person that wrote the miseducation of cameron post um that book was a disappointment that book was a was a lie that book was a deceiver <laughs> <laughs> that book was a pain in my ass. <laughs> and it all started. It all started from the synopsis because they lied to me. They lied. Ah. But I'm going to keep an eye out for this because I love Justin Reynolds' um, writing and this sounds like it's going to be great. It was opposite of all Temporarily really good. Good. I hadn't read it yet. Well, you should. You could try it. Like, of course, it's why and everything else. But I just, I like this all the theme the running theme of you know second chances and mm -hmm. doing a lot of do-overs and i guess i read it at a time when i was reminiscing about some of the things i'd done in the past and some of the opportunities i hadn't taken in the past um both with regards like work and also with relationships and i think that was the time when i was trying to reconnect with somebody that apparently i had lost the chance at being with and she was no longer in the country and i guess i was just all up in my headspace i've been like i wish i had this i wish i had this so like that might be why i really enjoyed it but i think it was it was a great book yeah i mean it seems, sounds like there's a lot of similar like things in terms of like topics and early departures because it's also about like missed chances with this person who was a close friend who was dead and is now brought back with this procedure mm -hmm. and stuff i liked it a lot um, I'm not re really like a big like sappy book type of person, but like this one was like it worked for me. I don't really know how to explain it. Like it was like it felt earned. I think. Mm. Next question is name the main uh, villain of the Vampire Huntress Legend series by L.A. Banks. I was really hoping Erica was going to be here for this one because I know she loves this series. <laughs> I put this one down. I and I don't remember. My life. I feel like we read it last year for Black Halloween or something. No, it or, was with Harley. It was when we were doing yeah. the book club thing, and Harley picked it because Harley loves this book, and Erica couldn't yeah. stand it. Everyone else. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought I remembered <laughs> this yeah. live show of all y'all talking about this book. <laughs> I think I tried to be polite about it. So author is now deceased, and then Ashley and Erica was like, "No, no, no, no." Oh man, I don't remember. I put it down. Uh, I hate when it like it. Dang. Let me check the air. Vampires are not my like my go to. So Monty gets his <laughs> tank. <laughs> I this makes me think, what was that vampire book you're reading this like <laughs> with all these random names? Yeah, Bubba. Bubba's one of them. Bubba yeah. is a vampire. He's a, a vampire that yeah. used to be Elvis Presley that didn't quite change right. So they just call him Bubba. So they don't have to mention his other name. <laughs> but yeah, let's not bring up that lady in, in the Black History Month that it is. Let's not do that. Yeah, sure. We don't need to bring that up. 
Yeah. I thought uh, LA Banks had. Well, I also thought um, who was it? Adrian might wait, be here, wait. but Fallon, Fallon Nui. Nui? Yeah. Like that's, that's an interesting name. So like they really were like we're going to go deep into this whole night team, um, the night theme by giving you Nui, Nui, Fallon Nui. Ooh. Okay, that's how you say that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> don't know me. I don't know if that's how they say. It. That's how I say. It. <laughs> I might be wrong. <laughs> but it should be. It looks like a new. Yeah, I think that makes more oh sense. Oh my god, my Nigerian Yeah, I think so. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, I love our shirt. By. This is one of those books. Well, this is like a twelve book series that like, I know has like a very strong 12? internet following. Twelve books, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, um, so I was like, maybe I can get a little bit more specific with this one, but that was not a great haul. Um, next one, in Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. Who is Tristan's main sidekick? Ding, ding, dong. Mm, mm, mm. I was supposed to le- read this last year for Black SFathon, and I didn't get SFFathon. I didn't get to it. Um, but I own it. Nope. I just haven't read it yet, y'all. I just read Amari and the Night Brothers like a month ago. I still need to read Amari and the Night Brothers. <laughs> I also have not read Tristan Strong, I- so I'm gonna guess some sort of inanimate object. <laughs> no, <Animal> John <laughs> Henry. <laughs> Just because oh, there's a hammer on the cover. <laughs> Gum baby. Wait, hold up. Oh, because this was I like say, a um Casey I say Jones. sidekick is the bicycle. There's a bicycle somewhere in that in that cover. I go, I'm going with the bicycle? bicycle. It's an anime. Like, yes, it's a talking bicycle. <laughs> the bicycle is like it's why you going to got it. I got it's gum baby. Oh, this is gum baby. Is that a, a is human? Is a bicycle called gum baby? It's not a bicycle. It's a little person. Gum okay. baby. You know the story of. Oh, uh, they're so cute. Oh my god. The rabbit and the bird. Oh, look at it. Yeah. <laughs> they make the little baby out of tar. Oh. Yeah. And she, this is her. She comes to life. Mm-hmm. And she's a slick mouth little uh, sap throwing child. And she, her name's Gum baby. Jeez. And she would not yeah. like this question. She would not like being called Tristan's sidekick. She's an adorable baby. Yeah. Hey. Love it. Sometimes the truth hurts. <laughs> Gum baby, I support you. I support your ministry. You're the main character in your story. Nobody's psychic. Go, girl. You go, you. Is she a girl? <laughs> yeah. <she does. laughs> Because she's like an entity, so maybe she doesn't have any gender, but like, you do yeah. you, gum baby. Yeah. <laughs> I still think a second psychic should be the bicycle. The bicycle? I'm just saying, just for things that yeah. Yeah, yep. I love it. It needs like a second psychic. I mean, there's two other <laughs> books in the series. Maybe a bicycle <laughs> introduced later in the trilogy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to read that soon, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Soon? <laughs> like, soon. I want to read it, like, in 2022, but I don't think I can fit it on my TBR for this one, so. Yeah. I'll get to it. Yeah, I don't have scary. anything planned for November, so, like, I'll probably get to it then. Uh-huh. Not October, I don't think. Yeah. I've been, in a, I've been in a reading slump for a year and a half. So yeah. all the books I wanted to read. I know the answer to this question. <laughs> oh, so I didn't really cut you Those off. Those are pretty art. But I never I never check oh. that. I never check the artist. Shit. Those are some pretty covers, but like I never check the artist. Yeah. You know Emma Ray? Yeah, it's Paul Lewin. Or I think that's how you say his last name. Yes, you are correct. Yeah. Paul Lewin. I Beautiful. love his artwork so much. I have a big poster in the other room. Oh, <laughs> what's really? the second from the right oh. one? What's that one? That one is a book that's not out yet. That's the upcoming Voodoo Knots anthology. Voodoo Knots. Oh. 
Yeah, so they're like the Afrofuturism writing collective, and their members are putting out this anthology where they each release short stories. I Ooh. can um, let me see if I can find a larger version of the cover I can go up and show you all. That's so pretty. The other it's titles hard. are the um I know he done uh new covers for the Parable of the Sower series and then for Fledgling and then How Long Till Black Futures Month. Um, oh, he did that. One? Oh, really? Is I it wait, wait, like? Uh, is there a new cover for that? That's what I was How long to Black Futures oh! Month. It just has the picture, the profile of the girl, or is, did he make the, he did he do that photograph? Sorry, what was the question? Did he do the photograph of of the the girl in profile on How Long to Future Month? Oh, or is there I don't new... think so. Like oh, the that's real the, photo. That's the cover on the far right. So I forget oh, the name of the photography studio, but they do a lot of like really interesting work. But there's like a reprint work. in Subterranean Press, and he did a cover oh, for that. I should. It's like five hundred dollars or something. Yeah, just about, just about. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I will say though, I do um, like but, the cover for uh, the world we make. Is that what it's called? The new, the yes. new book. Oh yeah, I do the like that cover. Became the second book. The yeah, Genesis. yeah. Oh god, that like that series. I can't, I can't wait. I'm ready. I am a little sad that it went from a trilogy to a duology, but if anybody's going to do that, it's Jemison, and I'm okay with it's, it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's possible that it's going to be longer. Yeah. Right. Oh, Just right. to maybe, maybe she, she, like, she looked at it and I was like, okay, you can't fit. Like, she would have to have it with needless prayers for it to be three books so she'll yeah. just make it like a more compact story yeah. and i don't mind yeah me neither i'm down <laughs> yeah right we trust that that's so oh that kind of <laughs> looks like um the dark fantastic uh, oh he did the art. artwork for that cover too yeah okay okay yeah so he's uh booked and busy from what I know. yeah he is oh this is just this is pretty. He was selling his art on like this little is postcards mm. and erica sent me a small pack of Chloe, them could you because move? I was oh, raving and raving about how much I love him. I can't see the text. <laughs> oh. Sorry, um, this way? Yeah, there you go. Could you scroll a bit to the right? Yeah, so I could see the rest of the text. Mm. Thank I'm you. so excited for this. All right. Nice. Right, right. $20 trade paperback. Okay. I was just I a little worried that I wouldn't be able to afford it. <laughs> Oh, same. It's gonna be fantastic. Right? I'm so excited. <clears throat> Amati says, "I don't trust the little presents line, but I love that for the children." Have people had yeah. like? Are there been mixed reviews about the Rick Ryder presents line? Because I don't know uh, really much of it. I've only yes. read um, Dragon Pearl and then Tristan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I haven't mm. read any. Well, I think I do think do that like. Um, that imprint gets more favorable reviews than mm -hmm. um, Patterson's one, the one that did um, Girls of Paper and Fire. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What was that one? Um, what's the name? What's more that Patterson, right? The white yeah. people that was all like, oh, Straight white men are being discriminated yeah, against. That yeah, one. Patterson James. Okay. Yeah, dumbass. <laughs> he, he has an imprint, and everybody. Yes, James. Gotcha. James Patterson. He has an imprint, and people do like it, the books are like hit or miss. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, baby. Do you want to say hello? Oh, is this Funko? Compo is running away. Oh, no. He's, he's no. running away. <laughs> <laughs> he he tried running away, but I got him. It's like, don't include me in trivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See. Oh. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> he's so, <grumpy>. so cute. <laughs> we love a grump. <laughs> <laughs> he's like. You're not paying me for this appearance. I have to go. <laughs> Let me go. 
Like, where's my sponsorship? Yeah. <laughs> It's like you have no snacks. I don't want to be here. Bye. I'm going to go. But the next question: It's the last name of the monster hunting family from the Bitterroot comics. Oh my god! This is another one where I got specific because I think it's being optioned for TV, and so I thought it was relatively popular. Damn. I haven't read it yet. Wait, I I've read, read all three volumes and I feel ashamed. <coughs> oh. It'll come to me. Hold up. Do kind we of know a- which network is which network is going to like have it on TV? Um, I'm, I'm pulling up yet. the article. Oh, sorry, I'm it's a movie. Like the- it's oh, sorry, it's not gonna be live action, right? Please. I don't know if they said they said Regina King's directing. Oh. Oh, yes. Um, no set. It's not Johnson or Jones. Uh, it's, does this have with the J? Is it Jenkins? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel so ashamed right now. Uh, I'm trying to look for clues on the cover. <laughs> I can only think of like three black comics, and this is one of them. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't remember the doggone characters' names. I'm honestly horrible at protagonist names. I'm just like the protagonist does da 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 da. Cause I'm like, but like they go by. It's like you call them by this their family name. It's their group of them are called, you know, not the Joneses, but the Joneses. And I yeah. can't remember what it is. Damn. Oh. Mm, Ashley would be so ashamed. Johnson Stewart Jones Jefferson. <laughs> no, it's not Jefferson. Because I almost said Jefferson actually. I was like the Jeffersons. I'm like nah, Gosh. nah. They have like it a like, like a white like last name. No, it's like not a common so. last name. No, it's not common. I think it's like it sounds. It's said in Louisiana, right? <laughs> yeah. No, it's said in no, like Harlem. Not... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, sorry, you're right. New York mm-hmm. City, Harlem Renaissance. But it sounds like a a Creole mm-hmm. name or like a a French influenced name like that. Oh, French. But I can't remember what it is. Do I know any, do I know any French sounding surnames? Someone guessed Roberts? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just as soon as you say it, I'm going to know. Yeah. Sangre? Sangre? Is it Sangre? How would you pronounce? I don't I know. I've never heard it said out loud. I still haven't I thought I saw. Word. I thought it had like an accent over the E and one of those E's, but. I've never heard it pronounced either, but I made it. I made it sound fancy in my head. I'll just be honest with you. Hot guest noir. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was still. Either. I was still stuck on like names that end with a J. <laughs> <laughs> and we we're so off it because it starts with no. Sorry, that starts with a J, and we're so off it because it starts with an S. But I would never have guessed. So I forgot. I, guess right I completely there. forgot. <laughs> Damn, that's a really good. Um, softballs, Deidre. I know you are. That's a really good series, though. If you like, um, <laughs> if you enjoyed it, um, not what's it called? What's the what's the one by P. Jelly Clark? Oh, Ring Shout. Yeah, if you enjoyed Ring Shout and the Ring premise Shout? of those type of monsters, you would enjoy this. I really want to read this. It's been on my radar for a yeah, while. Yeah, same. But my library, I think, only has e copies, and they're like. E copies are such a pain for me to read because I'm on my laptop. Like mm. the pages are just so funky, like it's hard for me to read the text. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> fair. <laughs> T requested softer balls. <laughs> <laughs> softer balls. <laughs> no. <I'll> try. <laughs> no, you're doing good, Chloe. I, I yeah, was I like expecting this. much worse. And I just failed that one. Next question is, name the Nigerian frontier town that serves as a setting for cyber, sci-fi slash cyberpunk novel Rosewater by Todd A. Thompson. Uh, it's not the dome, boy. is it? I hate this guy. Um, this is done, this is Alufo, right? It was inspired by Alufo, so um, Port Harcourt? I don't remember. It's not the dome, remember. right? No, the, the dome, dome is at a certain spot in the town. Okay. Oh man. 
it had it like it it was a pretty this is a big softball again because it's a ba- it's a basic name. I just can't yeah, remember. I just cannot remember it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I'm gonna pull up the wiki real quick to make sure I didn't give the wrong answer for this one. Uh oh. Um, it's not missing a letter or anything. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> His basic name. Oh shit! Oh my gosh, Venus same. <laughs> that really I remember very little. No, I didn't like it, but oh, you didn't like this one. It's not that I didn't like it. It's just like really a couple times, like mm-hmm. for real, a, a couple times. It I just felt that. very much mm. like writing. I, <laughs> mm. I should I just start randomly naming Nigerian towns? Do it. <laughs> it's just rose water. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say, is it just rose water? And I thought, no, Emma, Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, it was it a is. Big town they like created. This show oh, is. Like, if it's in the title. I Maybe someone just like the, the title. I, Thank I, you, I Chloe. Almost did. I, didn't want to look. I have a question. I have a question for yeah. Sunday Thompson. Like, what Nigerian town is rose water? Like, I am offended. I am not offended. Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm going to buy the book. I'm going to look for the signing. I'm going to travel out of my way just so I can be like, Tade, what Nigerian town is this? What I Nigerian town is this? Rose- Rosewater? I forget why it was named that. Because it was like there's this alien like dome that pops up in the city. And so like people just kind of build a town around it. Because it's like healing people for reasons they don't understand. So it's like a new town that's kind of like pops up. I don't remember why they said it was called Rosewater. I don't remember either, which is probably why it didn't cement in my memory that it's called Rosewater. I don't know. Yeah, as soon as you said it, I remembered that that's what the town's called, but I don't I am, remember we got any history. I am taking busy. a picture because I have a friend mm-hmm. who I know would scream to find out that this town, this fictional town, <laughs> is called Rosewater because Oh, no. There's so many, so many names, so many languages it could have borrowed from. Rosewater? We don't even have roses in Nigeria. We don't even grow roses as a plant in this country. So, oh my God, I have questions. Now I feel like I'm going to find out that the Wikipedia page lied to me because I like read the Wikipedia page and I was like, yeah, I feel like it was called Rosewater. <laughs> now I feel like I'm going to find out someone just like made that Wikipedia page as a joke. And I'm just lying. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm pretty Reading sure that's information. true. Venus says, "Isn't it set in the future?" Ain't it set in the future? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. I forget what year. So Monty's <laughs> comment. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly, we couldn't have. But, yeah. Nadia Crawford has written books. Nadia Crawford has written books set in the future, and they were still set in Lagos. Yeah. Right? There's been fictional books still set in. Ibadan still set in Wari, still set in Oweri. So, like, there are so many towns and cities. Mm. Rosewater? Yeah. Ro- oh my God. Questions. Have they come in? Mm. I just, I want to find an e- their email address and be like, hello, Tade. <laughs> Why is your name Tade? Let me give you the origin and meaning of your name, Tade. Now that this has been stated, Tade, is there a reason why your town is called Rose? Ro- why? Why? <laughs> why? Oh, God. Okay, anyway. Mm. I'm done. My face is hot. <laughs> oh, that is so good, though. Because why? I just spent the last five minutes screaming. <laughs> make it make sense. I just, oh. Next question. Name the secret organization in B.B. Alston's Amari and the Night Brothers, where Amari attends summer camp. Deidre, you just read oh, this, right? Deidre is laughing. Wait, didn't you just say... You I literally like, just put my foot in my mouth head. like two minutes ago. It was, was like, like, oh, I just, just read, read it. Book. God damn it, Chloe. <laughs> Uh, 
Damn, what is the name of um? It's like a tent type. It has like a really, you know, hidden in plain sight name. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fudge. Right. Auntie because says, it's not uh, swan. It's like something like in institution. Black. I'm gonna go with night. Black <laughs> men in black or something like men in black institution or something. Because I remember. Yeah reading the review and someone said something it. like that and i was like yeah i think i don't even know if it was the bureau of supernatural affairs but i think that's just a department within damn huh. 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 it might be i don't know if that's mm. right it might be but i don't think i think if a if a lay person or a non-magic person came upon it they wouldn't know about it Mm. I can't remember what it's called. Damn it. As soon as you say it, I'm going to be like, you show sure right. But <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> now I'm double guessing uh, you verifying Rosewater for me. Now I'm like, no, like, no, like the Knight brothers are brothers within the book. So it's not that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't remember. I'm so if you had to ask a different question, I would have known this and not that. Oh, that's right. Okay. You got it right. You no, I didn't get it right. Vina got it right. No, no, no. Somebody in the comments no, got it right. Said, it was Vina. Yeah. I was looking at the comments. You said that it couldn't be because you thought it was the name of a department of a department in. I did. Like yeah. the unit, the organization. I that was did. I was laughing because. Uh, <laughs> oh man, it's it was right there. It was right there. So who no, because they go to the the interview. I thought it was in a different like building. I thought it was called something else, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't um, have the no. books on me with like the page tab, so I can't like real quick fact check this for you. This yeah. is kind of like you have to trust me that I'm going to tell you this because I know it to be. It's fine. <laughs> No, I think uh, Vina's right. They call it the Bureau all throughout. Yeah, they, don't they call do. The full name. Yeah. I think they even called it BSA mm. for Bosa. Mm -hmm. Okay, the dystopian Brown Girl in the Ring ends with the politician changing their views due to an organ transplant. What organ was transplanted? Mm. I haven't read this one. Oh, no. It has a. Figurative I can just imagine Jerry shouting like, I know this, I know this. Is it going to be the eyeballs? Like, I'm just going to put that out there. Did they get an eyeball transplant? Can, so now they have different can, views, literally. Or did they get like a heart transplant? Because, you know, the heart, emotions, mm -hmm. yada, 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 blah-ish. Yeah. Morgan guesses skin. Auntie Ooh. says pancreas or a kidney. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I can't be obvious. Gallbladder. But Monty, <laughs> gallbladder. what if what if it is obvious? Because like so many or of the like, Rosewater. Rose did we water learn nothing? Was the city. It was right did we there. learn nothing from Rosewater? <laughs> it was the heart. <laughs> oh! I was right! You got it! Wow. <laughs> wow. The, the easy answer is often the correct answer. <laughs> Because Chloe wasn't trying to be so, <laughs> reading my so much. So much. <laughs> wow. I love this for us. Has anyone read Brown Girl in the Ring? No. no, I know that's in Jury's favorite, I think, yeah, but I have not is. read it yet. No. I know it's in one of Jury's favorite books. No. Okay. I have skin folk that I was going to read first. I never know where to start <laughs> with certain people's writings. And I know I made a mistake <laughs> with Octavia E. Butler. I know I should not have started with Kindred for, mm. I shouldn't have, yeah. but I did. And now I'm scared to go <laughs> on. Oh no. So, yeah, I, I, it just shouldn't have been my first. I don't like slavery as a topic in any way. So I, mm. I just shouldn't have, I should have made that like my third. Mm or fourth but um yeah i have skin folk and i'm scared to do you would y'all say that was a good place to start 
Um, I feel like Brown Girl in the Ring was a good place to start. That was the first one I read by Hopkinson. Okay. Um, no, I think DJ. Wait, is it? Oh, oh, I would. I thought we were talking about Butler. I thought we were talking about Octavia E. Butler. But we were at Nala. first. I was just like telling you okay. about my mistakes that I've made with some of these authors trying uh, out their work with the way we start. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like okay. I'm so okay. surprised when people say Kindred as the first Butler one because that was one of the ones I read last by her because I was dreading it so much. No, yeah. I think that's I the one that I just heard first. so much about. So, mm -hmm. and I just was like, okay, but I should not have started there at all. Yeah. Everybody that I say that to is like, oh, girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the only way you could have started worse would have been if you read Fledgling first. Yeah, that's the, that's the second one people say not to, yeah, not to first. start with. Yeah. So I know Noria, you had raised your hand for this one. Ah, this one, yes, I did. Stillness. Yeah, stillness. it was the and stillness. You put that in your video the other day. Yeah, I, I think, think I did. Yeah, the stillness <laughs> was what started everything, and I just love that. <sighs> I love that she wrote that. Like, look uh, at this cover. Interesting. No, this was not my first. Like, this cover is a is an interesting choice. Like, are there cracks in her face? Monty doesn't care for it either. So. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, right? Because I'm like, that is an interesting cover choice. This was another one an from Subterranean Dress. Because oh. I don't like her regular paperback <sighs> covers. So I wanted to find mm. something prettier. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I also haven't mm. seen a whole lot of fan art, like, cover redos. Like, yeah, I saw maybe yeah. one, but not a whole bunch. Mm. Yeah, I think those you are know, Interestingly yeah. enough, this was the first N.K. Jemison book I got, but it was not the first N.K. Jemison book I read. Oh. <laughs> what was the first one? Yeah. I read The Six We Became First. Oh, oh really? Oh. That's interesting. Um, has it gone read... backwards? And, and, interested... <laughs> and, I read, and I read it via audio. Like, I have it physically now, but, like, the audio production of that novel it's just phenomenal. It's like it's art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's art, and I was like, ah, ah, this is what it is. <laughs> and then yeah. Jameson, and then I went back. I was like, I need to read more. Mm. <laughs> so, do you have the next yeah. one pre-ordered, or are you gonna wait a little bit for like a paperback release? Yes. Oh, I have it pre-ordered. I'm also going to get it on audio as well, so I can listen to it the day it drops, and then when the physical copy arrives. Then I do like my body read and everything else. Well, yes, mm. I have it pre-ordered. I can't wait. Mm. I can't wait. I kind of want to was... pre-order it, but also I don't know what's stopping me actually from pre-ordering it. There's just something I just buy books used so frequently. I'm like th these like hardback prices are killing me. I'm just yeah. like yeah, I have to make my oh. peace with the fact that it's gonna cost me a chunk oh. of change to uh, to get this one. They have the paperback for the city we became now, don't they? Yeah, but I had like pre-ordered the yeah. city we became, and so that was like mm -hmm. the first time I like bought like a new hardback in like years, and so I was like, mm. yeah, gotcha. <laughs> and shipping on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, so people aren't feeling this cover. People are not liking this red line. I dig it. <laughs> I, like um, it. I, I feel don't like know. I know why the red line is there, but I feel like it would be a spoiler to say. Yeah, um, I don't but, know. It I mean, looks like a yeah just like a marvel it, movie poster mm. like yeah ah, i don't know it, it, I, don't, mm. like, I'm just I just have such a like, relationship with her covers oh. it makes me so mad oh yeah. i want to fight every time we bring them <laughs> up i want to fight because <laughs> because she deserves so much better because she deserves like better so much cover, better right i know she has nothing to she do with it better covers. if the old ones i think she has something to do with the new ones but or, or the city we became the great cities mm -hmm. trilogy because she was talking about giving feedback Ooh. to the artist when mm -hmm. oh. but the fifth uh season i almost said the fifth element but the fifth season <laughs> 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 it's that trilogy it's just so got nothing to do with nothing okay nothing <laughs> what the hell is that purple what is that in the book, in the world, what is that? It's uh, pretty. The colors are pleasing, 
well, what the hell is that? I feel like also the fifth season of all of her covers from that artist, it's the worst because they like the yeah. least to do with anything. Yeah. With the title. With yeah. The, yeah. They're just weird. Yeah. They're just I feel weird. Like, yeah, like, no. ugh. If I were to like randomly befriend a wealthy someone or like a book binder, I would be requesting personal copies with nice covers. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know who she pissed pissed off in the the her <laughs> department to make covers in her <laughs> publisher, but Lord, they do not like even even the um inherit no. Yeah, I actually like the inherit like, like the originals. I feel like the new ones a, don't do a thing. Oh, I took it like I don't mind it, but like, I like the inheritance it has nothing to do, like it doesn't give you a clue of what's covers. going on and what's in it. You know what I'm mm, saying? Like you know, after you read the book, you kind of get the, the understanding of what's going on, but like, <laughs> but DJ, what if it's a revise, a reverse psychology thing that she's like, mm. you see the cover, you're like, this cover is ugly. Mm -hmm. uh, what is this book about? And then yeah. your mind is blown, and then every oh. Like a real that's moment. Reality. Judge a book like, by this cover. Oh, that's the reality of <laughs> this how, ugly ass cover. <laughs> that's the reality of how I've come to own all of her books. Because at the end of the day, I'm buying her name and yeah. her writing, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna bitch about the covers because they're they they just don't they don't convey even the even the Dream Blood duology. <sighs> it's red. Yeah. Really, y'all. Really. Mm -hmm. You saw the word blood and you put red on it. Thank you. I appreciate it. What like gee. <laughs> I don't know. Like it just makes me mad. And then you get the nice pretty ones <laughs> that are like abstract, but they're five hundred dollars from that have don't... nothing in them. <laughs> you know, it's just listen. And but and you know, you I've bought a bad pretty cover and before. You're like, oh, you're just a pretty face. That's <laughs> it. I could look. I'm looking at three right now, and I won't put them on blast on somebody else's channel. But at the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your I'm consideration, just, Deidre. You're welcome. I'm just like, no, she don't deserve that. She really doesn't. She doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Ain't a pretty one. Just wants the check to clear. An ugly book could slap, but I would never know because I only read pretty things. It's that's that's a lot of people though, Monty. You're not by yourself. I'm I'm a cover by a bitch. But at the end of the day, for her, I have to just ignore <laughs> the covers. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm also just not browsing in bookstores that much anymore. I'm kind of like, yeah, oh, this book sounds interesting. I'm gonna yeah. kind of buy it. Regardless. Although I'm not gonna lie, if I ever have like a black artist do like book jackets for her books. I'm going to be faster on that than rice on like stew on rice, like legit. I'll be like, mm. thank you. Here's my money. And I'm going to be like, there you go. See, now the covers are pretty. Because it's such a pretty <laughs> book. Like she has yeah. like she tells such pretty stories. Yeah. She deserves pretty covers. Or even if I could like commission pretty people covers. who do what are those, like the book defacings where they like yeah. dazzle them and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. That to, like spice up some of these oh, people yeah. mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. I also feel like it's just like a no. right the passage at this point, you know, like we're like, oh, we yeah. love N.K. Jemison, we hate her covers. Yeah, <laughs> this point. Like, yeah. Or bonding right. activity. Bonding. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> see, look. Second to last. Like, oh, I, I, oop. these numbers I did not fix, apparently. Well, that's going to be. Did she give us the answer? No, oh, I, I just, missed it. I just didn't know. I just don't know how to count apparently because I went from 12 to 15. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Name the Nigerian editor who created the year's best African speculative fiction anthology. I, read I just put this on the him, other day. You? I did interview him. He also did the Dominion anthology. And I own that. It's on my other shelf. And African oh. mm. in November. Dang. Mm. Mm. I did not. I did not look at Oh my gosh, I know it and I just can't get it to come out. Oh, oh. Oops. I didn't even blur out his name, I don't think, on this cover. Oh, wait, no, I did. Okay, see. Okay, <laughs> get real in what? <laughs> because I was like, I sure wait, look. What? 
I look um, good, but I can't see it. Because it was like, I can only see someone with like mask and then all the writers at the does, bottom. Does his name like, start with, oh. um, is it? Oh. Can I buy an A? I feel like I can spell the first half. <laughs> I think there's actually only one A in his name. It's his middle name. <sighs> oh, this is upsetting. I bought Dominion like a couple that days ago for healthy. Black SFF. Can't remember this man's name. Want me to go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guess? I don't have a guess. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like oh. I have not. I I stayed away from like all releases from 2021 to 2022 because. I am on a book buying buying ban, and I'm so yeah. proud of myself. Hey, bravo! Except bravo. for NK Jackson, like she was like Except, yeah. Yeah. Exception. always, exception. always <laughs> just an exception. Yeah. yeah, she was like, "What do you mean by no new books?" See, I have a new book, and I'm like, "For you, Nora, for you, here, take my money." I'm so upset I didn't get this. <laughs> Dang, I remember that interview. It was a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it was like a round table, right? Oh, wow. More more numbers that are not numbering. Um, <laughs> oh, name the magical island in JL's Wings of Ebony where Rue's father has been living. Mm-mm. I remember my complaint time. about I it, have but I don't remember the name of it. I'm so pretty. I haven't read it. Mm, I have, but it, I, have it, like, I think nothing. I got it in a book box and it's somewhere. Yeah, and I still haven't read it yet. I'm gonna go ebony uh, just in uh, case. <laughs> you know, you're probably not far off. <laughs> <laughs> ebony Cove or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Any other guesses besides Ebony Cove? <laughs> it's a cave. I think it would be really cool if she named the island after her name. So I would be like J. Ellis Island. I don't know why where I got the Ellis from. I'm just like, yo, (laughs) that would be so cool. It's something I would do if I ever write a book. I'll just be like, you're my friend. I shall find you. I shall name that (laughs) hospital after you. Oh, you're my bestie. That that street that you're walking down, that is going to be your name. Who would just be like, but like I dedicate this book to everybody whose name is mentioned inside. <laughs> you want to know your name? You want to know Instead your name? Instead of the like name, names that have book. been changed, it's just exactly. all names are real. You be like, yeah. all these names are real. They are real people. Do you want to know if your name <laughs> made it in? Buy my book Ryan. and find out. Ooh. Ha! Mm. Oh, is. Angel. Is it an yeah. island, Chloe? Oh, I <laughs> it's nowhere close to any of our answers. No, I thought this you one was don't. fairly popular, so I thought this was a fair question. But no, apparently, I don't was it an island though? Post. Are you sure it's an island? I could have sworn it was an island because I thought that was how no one was able to find it. It was like this island with some weird cloaking devices around it. Oh, stuff. you know, I thought it was like inside of a mountain. Maybe no, that's no, why. that wasn't the specific hideaway. It was just like the general. Oh, the way to get there? Yeah, like the little country, I guess. That, that Got island. you. Maybe, maybe the mountain. Maybe the mountain is on the island. <laughs> mountain is on the island. That yeah, it is. Country. It's like a... I just thought that passageway was the place. But no, that's how they got there. You're right. Mm. Mm. I don't... I'm bad with names. Oh, wow. That was it. Oh! Okay. So, that's the last of it. survived. Yeah. That was we it. And Deidre, so much fun. looks like you're the winner. You got two out of um, oh! 15. Hey. Well, you tied with Vina. Vina also got two out of 15. Nice. Yeah, okay, that nice. works. I got that Paul Loon <laughs> one. I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of you for <laughs> that. I got, one and I'm, I got one, and I'm very proud. And I guessed one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but that was a guess. And I'm so it. proud because I was like, I thought it was going to be zero. But nah. <laughs> Mama, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> we survived. I'm okay, proud of us. Proud of us. Um, Chloe, I have to give you, you did good. You didn't kill us. I'm proud this of you. This is awesome. This is great. If I had read How do you more feel? the book. <laughs> do you feel okay or do you feel like, man, I should have gave him more hell? 
Uh, I feel like I was like, I really should have um like changed some of these questions even more. Like, I... <laughs> terrible. Like, there's no. someone there that I'm like, okay, I just want to like you know have a chance for this person to like shout them out. However, there's some of them are like, oh, I just kind of assumed that people had read this because I thought it was a popular title, but maybe it's not as popular as I actually thought. <laughs> mm. No, it's not good. I think you did good. Great. Yeah, yeah, I love this. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, this was the first trivia. It was that great. Done. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Thank maybe you. We can do more, or I say we, but like maybe I'll do more in the future and see what happens with that. For sure. So, um, thanks for coming out, everybody. Thanks for everyone who was watching and leaving comments and participating. Um, it was great to have you all. Thank you. Um, is there anything? Any events people have coming up that they want to plug? Uh, I know people have Black Ween and um, Black SF Ethathon stuff, but like if you have like videos coming out in the next few days or anything like that. Nah. Nope, I'm just trying to survive in these booktube streets. I'll probably put a TBR up. Otherwise, that's it. That's fair. Same. Wait, how's oh, your, are you still doing uh, the- I'm not going to have a new now? video in almost three weeks then. So. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, still no. doing the what? The Harvest and Hall videos you had. I'm really oh, far behind yeah. your videos. So I'm like watching oh, the one in the spring. Yeah, I haven't bought anything since that one. Okay. Um, gotcha. And then I have one pepper, exactly one pepper growing. Uh, <laughs> is it a hot pepper or is it like a bell pepper? It's a bell pepper. So like it's the rest of my garden, I have lemongrass. That's not very fun to harvest. <laughs> I have lemongrass and I have... Um, I say basil, but I think the real pronounced uh, pronunciation is basil. I'm so I country though. I, I did too, but I never. I don't hear Wait, other people no, saying it that way. I think it's basil. Okay, thank I you. I think it's uh, basil. Yeah. Maybe if you because when because people, I do know because I do know a basil, but basil is a is a Ken, it's it's name. Kenyan. It's a Kenyan name. Yes, it's his oh, name. Like it's Kenyan, okay. so it's not like yes. Yeah, so I think okay. it is basil. Mm. I have cinnamon and basil, basil that's going in the flower. Like, yeah. Cinnamon basil? I know. See, this is why I was talking shit the other day on Ashley's channel. Because <laughs> she put cinnamon in her spaghetti. <laughs> and I tried it. And then I saw this basil cinnamon plant. And it's an actual thing, y'all. So don't I hate it. on the try it. Try a like a sprinkle. Wow. A sprinkle. Just like eh on the cinnamon in your spaghetti. Oh, it's phenomenal. It, it gives you a different flavor, mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. the cinnamon basil, it's another level of that. I'm just saying. Do too much cinnamon for the I'm spaghetti excited. if you use the cinnamon basil? Or no, like I don't use both. Different. I don't use both, but because um, you, it smells like when you smell the basil, it smells like cinnamon first. So I don't, I, I don't use both. I but if, I, if I'm out of that, I'll use some cinnamon. Yeah. Anyways, I came to mm. buy the plant because I saw I was I heard Ashley talking about it. I was like, okay, so even though I never heard anybody say that before, let me try this plant. And I put it in my lasagna, I put it in my yes. spaghetti, I put it in my meatloaf. That shit's good. Mm. Okay. It is delicious. <laughs> Cinnamon on everything. No, okay. I mean making hmm. notes. It's good. Think of that world. No, growing season is kind of over for us. Like, I have to get rid of our tomato plants because I don't think anything's going to happen with them before it gets in. Yeah, my tomatoes did not do I have anything five issue. little cherry tomatoes. <laughs> oh, was I grew them indoors time. just to yeah. kind of see. Yeah. And there's, there's five little ones. So I'm like, ooh. You got yeah, five yeah, more than I did. I didn't get one. It was terrible. It was just so hot and dry. They do like oh. one. Yeah, yeah. I know how you all, all of you all are like planting stuff. Like I, I have a traumatic memory and experience from when I was like twelve, and I planted like beans in our backyard, and it was growing, and I was so excited because I was like, "Oh my god, I have a green thumb! Things can grow!" And then the birds in the area came and ate it. They ate all my beans. That's how you know? Oh, no. <laughs> That's how you know you do it. Yeah. When the animals and the insects want to get you. I was like, oh. oh. They didn't even leave me oh, no. one. There was like nothing left. I was like, oh, my beans. And I was so sad. And I never attempted to grow anything. Oh, no. Oh. No. 
do it again. You got to be ready for the apocalypse because you need people that can right. make underwear, stitches, grow food. These are the three things that you need to survive the apocalypse. You need clean underwear so you don't get a UTI. You need to be able to sew up those wounds mm -hmm. and you got to eat. Mm. So, hmm. it's important. Whichever one of those categories you want to make yourself, you know, useful in, I'm trying for the food because I don't know about Same. the stitches. <laughs> I think the stitches in the underwear have a lot of overlap. They do, they do, because this is. But mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I did okay this season. Uh, we got a lot of tomatoes. That was really all I was trying to grow. But Ooh. after a while, I was like, they're like big, like beefsteak tomatoes. So after a while, I was like, mm -hmm. I need to look up recipes for tomatoes because I'm tired of doing tomato sandwiches. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do tomato I stew. stew. Canning mm. tomato stew. Just Google how to make Nigerian tomato stew because you can you put go. it on everything. It mm. tastes delicious on everything. Pasta, rice, noodles, yams, sweet potatoes, you know, mm. everything. You just yum. put stew on it, and you're like, yum. Sounds good to me. It does. Stew. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for sticking around. Um, that's really yeah. all I had for today. Um, so I hope everyone has a good weekend. See you the rest of Black House of Epithon. See you at Black Alinathon. And take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>